This weekend marks a significant event in the world of defense, as Asia's largest annual defense dialogue takes center stage in Singapore. Here's our Kim Hyun Sing for what to look out for. This year, defense ministers from roughly 40 countries will gather at Singapore's Shangri La Hotel to hold major defense talks. Here are some of the most anticipated discussions. With Seoul and Tokyo patching up relations lately, so are the defense lines. South Korea's defense minister and his Japanese counterpart are poised to hold talks for the first time in four years, marking a potential thaw in frosty diplomatic relations. The two have been held in an icy deadlock since the 2018 Japanese patrol plane incident. Tokyo accused the South Korean Navy of violating naval code by allegedly locking its radar onto the plane flying at a low altitude. South Korea denied these claims and instead condemned the Japanese patrol plane for its provocative eight-shaped flight pattern at the time. After failing to find common ground about this issue for years, the upcoming face-to-face -face between the Seoul Tokyo ministers hold the potential to finally bring about a settlement on this diplomatic dispute. Another key point is dialogue on North Korea. With Pyongyang's provocations growing increasingly bolder, the regime is expected to be the ongoing talking point. In three-way talks between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo, these countries may discuss ways to bolster their defenses against any potential attacks. A collaborative real-time missile alert system may likely top the agenda. As for the wider region, China will most likely be grabbing the headlines. In a rare occurrence, China's defense minister Li Xiangfu turned down his American counterpart Lloyd Austin's calls for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Tensions have escalated, especially with the two countries in gridlock over the issue of Taiwan. It remains to be seen what China's stance will be and whether it will propose a new defense strategy. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.